Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Today, again, an amazing video with some crazy cool, funny news. But first of all, my brother Gino, the 23rd of November, happy birthday, bro. Yes. Congratulations with your 50th anniversary. <laughs> no, no, he's only getting 41. He's living here with me in Phuket. So today we will have a beautiful birthday day. Uh, but today, guys, amazing funny news. Four amazing Bitcoin charts, a Bitcoin trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice, and yes, talking about some other stuff. Guys, let's quickly jump into the first part of the video, the charts, because you want to know why Bitcoin didn't dump to 30K, but went up again to 37K, while CZ left Binance, etc., 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 and all the other negative news. Let's jump into the charts first to see what is happening next. Bam! The first chart for today, guys, of course, the day chart on Bybit. Every candle is a single day. You can see yesterday I talked about if that candle is going to close down below the red line, we will pull back to the blue line. That candle didn't close below that red line. It had a beautiful wick to the bottom, but the body was above that red line. And what happened then was a beautiful another pump in Bitcoin, all the way up to $37,400 US dollar again touching the ceiling almost of that Bollinger Band. If we will be rejected again by that Bollinger Band, you can again expect another candle going to that red line or to that blue bottom of the Bollinger Band. But if we break the top of this Bollinger Band, there will be an explosive move upwards all the way above 40K, guys. And then that 40K level will be broken. And that would be an amazing moment again in Bitcoin to create a new all-time high for this year above 40k guys now let's jump in four more amazing charts this is the first one this one is the bitcoin issuance 14 moving average so the thing that is only important on this one is that you see this yellow line the yellow orange line that one is going down every four years why is this going to die down every four years because every four years we see in halving and after the halving less bitcoins are issued every day so this line is going to continue to go down from April 2024, guys, because that's the next halving. And if you can look at the price, what it every time did, from the moment that that happened, that the yellow line went down, that is when the bull market started. Look between 2016 and 17. The yellow line went massively down. The black line, the price went up. Look at 2020 to 21. The yellow line went down, the black line went up. Now in April, the yellow line again will go down. That black line will again go up. Very simple chart. This chart, also very simple. You can see the beautiful 2011, 13, bear and bull. The 2014 to 17, bear and bull. The 2018 to 2021, bear and bull. And the 2022 to the 2025, bear, accumulation, and soon the bull. You don't want to miss out on that last part, the beautiful green box, which we refer to as the bull. You should be accumulating Bitcoin in the yellow box, exactly where we are now. And even if you look to the previous bull market, 2018 to 21, yes, we can see we reached the top of the yellow box. We came a little bit lower because of the COVID crash and we went again in that green box. You should be dollar cost averaging. Don't count on it that we will touch the top of the yellow box and will go down again. Because that didn't happen in 2014-17 and that didn't happen in 2011-13. It only happened in 2018-21 because of that fake flu crash. Don't count that it's going to happen now again. Please start to dollar cost average into Bitcoin. You can beautifully join that beautiful green box together with me and all the other people watching this channel. Next chart. This is the beautiful chart that is bearish. Yes, of course, I always share also a bearish opinion. And this bearish opinion is telling us, hey, there is some divergence on the chart. And this pattern that we see has happened before. So totally on the left on the chart, you can see the same pattern happening on the price. And we can see the downward line down on the, uh, the downward line on the RSI. And what happened after that, we saw a crash in the price. And in the mid of the chart, we see the same. We see an upward pattern a downward RSI, what happened? We saw a crash in the price to lower levels. Now we can see the same thing in the price happening. We have an upward pattern, a downward RSI, that is divergence, which could lead to a dump. But that dump, in my honest opinion, would still stay above 30K. 32K, 33K, somewhere in these levels, put your buy orders there. Now, beautiful chart also is this one. If you zoom out a little bit more, 
there's a monthly chart so every candle is a month in 2020 we broke that downward trend line with the monthly chart and that is where you see the beautiful yellow circle from that moment it was almost one two three four five six seven eight nine months upwards now 2023 we can see the same happening we are breaking that downward trend line nine months upwards is expected at least from here if we look back to 2017 we went even more months upwards that's why i keep saying i expect the bull market to end somewhere in 2025 guys then we have this chart we can see the bitcoin year over year percentage and we can see the global m2 year over year as well m2 means all the money worldwide now you can see how the correlation beautifully is working out every time when that money printer starts to print the bitcoin price is going up yes we found the bottom in the money printing somewhere in 2022 slowly we are printing more and more money so the global m2 is going up which means the bitcoin price is also going up i don't think we are done with printing money because the global crisis is still there there is no optimal beautiful economical situation yet so they need to print a shitload more of money which will lead to a higher bitcoin price as well and you know how that works first they start to make sure that normal people can't buy Bitcoin anymore on Binance or Bybit or Kraken or FTX. Then they will open their own beautiful spot ETFs and exchanges or for example Coinbase having a custodial service for their spot ETFs. Then the next step that they will do is they will start to print a shitload of money. That shitload of money will be distributed to that 1% of rich people that have all the companies. Those people are going to diversify their capital into the spot ETFs. ETFs of Bitcoin and Ethereum and then the pump is there and then from that pump who's going to make the most profits of course that one percent that already is the richest part of the world they are going to be even more rich you just make sure you play the same game join the Bitcoin pump now anticipate don't react if you're going to react you will be too late and they will play a mindfuck with you guys and they will win that mindfuck because that has the game that they have been playing already for decades they know exactly how to mindfuck you and how to create fomo and all of that stuff so please anticipate just buy a few bitcoins wait till we top out sell them to stable coins and start to enjoy your life a little bit more Yes, I know, amazing charts again. Give them thumbs ups. Come, 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 come. Thumbs ups, thumbs ups. I will get closer. Thumbs ups. Give it a thumbs up. Yes, I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Yes, of course, the charts showing you again. Zoom out. Look at the bigger picture. Look how beautiful these targets are there at the end of the bull market top. At the end of the bull market top could be in 2025 and could be above 100k, maybe even above 150k or even 200k if there will be a shitload of liquidity coming to the market because of all that spot ETS that will be approved very soon. Let's see what happens. But well, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, of course, again, about the SMA and the EMA. Yesterday, we talked about the short-term traders. They need to use the EMA. Now, we are talking about the swing traders. They should be using the SMA. So, the most important SMA levels for the swing traders, swing traders are people that trade the four-hour or the daily chart, for example, so they take bigger time frames. The most important levels is the 20 the 50, the 100, and the 200 simple moving average. So these levels are always very important when you're a swing trader. So you trade, so you trade only a couple of times every month. Then you need to keep an eye on those levels. So always the 20, the 50, the 100, and even the 200 simple moving average. Beautiful moving averages to keep an eye on when you're a swing trader. That was the trading tip for today, guys. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. Try to avoid contact with other travelers. Sometimes try to make more contact with the local people. I think the biggest lesson I can give to you is like make eye contact and have a big smile. Something like that. <laughs> if you have eye contact and a smile, or maybe you just will ask for a direction to local people, you get into contact with the local people. And that's completely different than having contact with the other travelers that are doing the same like you are doing. I think it's very important that you get contact with the local communities because they always know the best tips. They know where to eat. They know where to do the biggest adventures. They know where to have the beautiful snorkel tips. They know where to go to fish. They know all of that stuff because they live here. They exactly know what would be the best place for you to visit if you want to do a certain thing. So 
avoid all the other travelers, make eye contact with the local community, get a big smile, and yes, try to make most of that contact with that local person and enjoy the real culture of a country that you're visiting. That was the travel tip for the day. Let's jump into the next part. The next part is answering a question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, if these exchanges just stop existing and they hold our Bitcoins, how can we then sell our Bitcoins? I thought, yeah, most of you would like, uh, that's a stupid question, but, but stupid questions don't exist. So I'm going to answer these questions. The most important thing for you to understand is to hold all your Bitcoins in cold storage hardware wallets like the Ledger or the Bitbox, not on the exchanges. On the exchanges, you only hold those coins that you're prepared to lose. So the ones that you use for trading, not your hodling stack. Your hodling stack needs to be on the Ledger, uh, other hardware wallet, or, or maybe a beautiful multi-sig uh, software wallet, but not on the exchanges. And if you want to play it the complete safe way, then you use a decentralized exchange to trade. My favorite one by far, also because I'm an investor in that one, is Apex Pro. They are now celebrating their first year. So they have the one year anniversary, I think yesterday. And because of that, they are going to come out with explosive promotions that you could be joining. If you want to join those explosive promotions, <laughs> then you need to sign up. And you need to sign up using my referral link down below this video to get an extra promotion and a sign up bonus. So Apex Pro is a decentralized order book model exchange, which means you will have exactly the same feeling as if you're trading on a centralized exchange, but you're trading completely decentralized. So you're not sending your Bitcoins into the exchange, which they then will hodl as a custodial service. You will keep your Bitcoins or Ethereum on your own hardware wallet or software wallet, or for example, MetaMask, and then you connect that to the exchange. So whenever that exchange could stop existing, you still have full access to your own wallet and to your own cryptocurrencies and you can keep continue trading on another DEX. I'm not saying that Apex Pro is going to stop existing because I think it's going to be the biggest DEX for the future. They have a great team. There's a massive community behind it. They have cool promotions. They survived the first very difficult year for an exchange to survive is the first year. So you can expect a shitload more of Apex Pro. So use the link down below and please never keep too much Bitcoins on your exchanges. Been there, done that, not doing that again. I was there with Mt. Gox, I was there with Cryptopia, a New Zealand exchange. They both stopped existing, they both took my cryptos. Not going to do that again. Just only keep a small part there that you can afford to lose, guys. That was the answer to the question. Let's jump into the next part. The news, guys, is really funny news. I couldn't stop laughing when I read it the first time. So there is this Netflix series, it's called Conquest. And they started to record Conquest in 2018, I think. And by 2019, 20, their budget was gone. It was 44 million US dollar in budget. So the director of Conquest asked Netflix for another 10 and a half million dollar to finish the job. So Netflix at that time gave that director 10 and a half million extra. You know what this guy did? He took 6 million to trade the stock market. He lost that complete six million on the stock market. And then he had only $4 million left. And then he did something that I really can admire because we did the same. He took that 4 million in 2020 and he went all in into Dogecoin. And he had that huge pump in Dogecoin and he made from 4 million, 27 million. So he could finish the Conquest series on Netflix, which probably now is up and running and he still had a shitload of profit um, left. And Netflix of course was happy with it, but he took a huge risk. The guy had steel balls because he already lost 6 million of his budget. And then he did another 4 million on Dogecoin, not even Bitcoin or Ethereum on Dogecoin. But yeah, it made him 27 million. It made him possible for him to finish Conquest, which now you can enjoy on Netflix. In the far future, guys, we will be laughing our asses off all these crazy stories that happened in the cryptocurrency industry. So uh, congrats to the producer of Conquest to pulling off that really cool uh, thing that you did over there. Um, good job. If you went all in on Shiba, you would have made even more probably. Maybe another time, if you make another documentary, call me first uh, and I will advise you which currency you could 
should go all in as well before you start to blow up your whole capital for your next documentary. Crazy cool news. Uh, the other news, of course, is that yes, in the Netherlands today, uh, Geert Wilders from the PVV, he won the elections in the Netherlands. This is like an ultra-right party winning the elections in the Netherlands after all the screw-ups of the other guy, Rutte, that fucked up the Netherlands in the last decades. Uh, yes, he made a really big shit show of the Netherlands. And now this new guy, uh, Wilders, not a new guy, old guy, but a guy that had a lot of like discussions about him. He's not always like the biggest fan of all the integrations in the Netherlands, of all the foreigners and all that stuff. But he now had 35 points. He has the biggest party. Let's see how that will evolve. And maybe that will also change the game in the Netherlands for crypto. Because maybe he's a little bit bigger crypto believer because he comes from my hometown, Venlo, in the Netherlands. So maybe he understands that he needs to make Bitcoin a legal tender for the Netherlands as well and, those tr and don't trust all the central banks anymore. Just look what is happening in Argentina, Geertje, and do the same now in the Netherlands like the president in Argentina is doing for Argentina. You should do now for the Netherlands and make Bitcoin a legal tender and change the complete future for the Netherlands. Now, that was all the news. Let's jump into the last part of the video. The inspirational tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. You hear always people saying, that's impossible, and that's impossible, and that's impossible. Everything is impossible if you listen to the sheeple or to the people that are small-minded, to those people that don't want to change their lives. The word impossible says it itself. I am possible. I'm possible. I am possible. Everything is possible in life. Don't listen to the herd. The herd is only listening to the mass media which is being controlled by those people that you really don't want to follow. Everything in life is possible. You decide what kind of box you're living in. Are you living in a small box? Are you living in a big box? Or do you step outside the box and see everything in life as possible? And from the moment you see everything in life as possible and start to think bigger and dream bigger and see everything that you couldn't expect ever to see as a positive possibility, it will change a complete view on life and also your life itself will completely change. Don't let them fool you that all the things you dream of or want to achieve are impossible. Always remember when someone says impossible that the word means I'm possible. It is possible to do that stuff that is in your head. It is only impossible the moment you have tried it over 2,000 times and then proven to yourself, yes, this is impossible. All the way till that time, everything is possible in life. Just keep trying, keep going for it. When you have the dream, keep chasing the dream. When you have ambitions, go 1000% for your ambitions. When you want to change a lifestyle, don't think it's impossible. It's definitely possible. We are showing it as well. We had a normal lifestyle. We have a different lifestyle. And I'm not saying it's a better lifestyle, but it was possible to change from that normal guy that was growing up in the 90s being completely boxed in by all the beliefs that the government and the schools wanted me to have and escape that into this new lifestyle uh, so it is possible and i always thought that wouldn't be possible at the end it was possible because we proved ourselves as a family that it was possible and to prove it you need to do it so my live advice for the day is get up from your couch Stop watching Netflix, stop listening to those people that tell you it's impossible and start acting. It all starts with one single act. You getting up and you trying the impossible to make it possible for the future. That was everything for today. Short but powerful. I don't have too much time. It's a little bit later than normally as well, guys, because there was a lot of things doing this morning. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment and a question so I can answer another question tomorrow again. I wish you an amazing Thursday uh, and probably see you tomorrow on Friday again. Uh, same time, morning, walking the beach, hopefully Bitcoin, beach and booty. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.